we've got the Doodle Bastard project back here we're working on again. Today, we're going to start cleaning up the frame and the cross member that hold the foot pegs on. This particular piece used to live up here, and now that it's been moved back to be able to clear my uh, foot for the shifter that'll be on this side over here. I have an idea of running the beams up to here, up to the top, at which point the engine tabs will hang from that. The bottom tab, however, looks like it'll probably weld directly to this, this cross member that I'm putting in here. And at the same time, I've also straightened the frame. The fender mount, that's right here, was always crooked and always bent the fender to a weird angle. And it turns out that it was welded improperly down here, about an inch forward of where it should have been. So that caused the uh, fender mount to be all cocked. So I've got that bent back to where it needs to be, and we're going to weld that in as well. We've got the crossbar welded on in here. It's kind of a sloppy weld. There was a lot of spatter on that one because it was an awkward angle for me to get in there, but we're going to get that taken care of, so no worries. Um, I created the two mounting tabs for the lower end of the motor, and I've got the motor kicked forwards like we discussed last week. So now that that's been kicked forwards, um, I've got the tabs on in there. i got a block of wood pushing the motor back to the tabs so that way they're good and tight, so they're not going to move. I checked the chain alignment. The chain alignment appears to be good from where I'm at. So I pulled the motor back out, but you can see the new mounts here on the bottom. And this is all now welded in solid. The motor fits in there very, very tight between the top head stay and the lower rear engine mount. But we're going to continue um, with this thing. I just went ahead and pulled that off so I can clean up the welding spatter that occurred down here. Things are looking pretty good on this, so I'm going to continue doing what I've been doing. This is working out well. So today we got the rear engine mount set up here. It goes from the cross member, which has the foot pegs on it all the way up to the top of the frame. It mount, mounts into there. There's two tubes that go down. Each side has engine mounting tabs, top and bottom. Those are now welded into the frame. And uh, you can now bolt the motor in through that. We've got the top head stay, which you guys are already familiar with, that we did last week. So we now have three mounting points on the motor. The motor is extremely solid, so that's good. We also got the fender mount down here. That's been fixed. It was stupidly welded way up here somewhere, which caused the fender to be really crooked and twisted it over to the other side. So the fender looked really ridiculous. The rear motor mount uh, supports here, I don't know if you can see it, but I can actually squeeze them and there's a little bit of deflection. So I'm going to put a cross support right through here, so that way it'll make that a little bit stronger. And that should be good. Next week, we're going to work on the front engine mount, which goes into these two bolts right here. And I've got another bolt that'll go across this way. That we have these boomerang-shaped um, mounts that'll bolt into three bolts, two to the motor and one to the frame. And that's kind of important that that mount comes out, because the motor, if we weld tabs onto it, will never be able to be removed from this frame without cutting it. So we got that set up, so that way it'll have a uh, front bracket to the front mount, so that way it's removable. Everything's looking good. For some reason the humidity is fogging up my lens. Ain't that something. Anyways, all in all, everything is really, really good. We're happy with this thing, and we're going to continue working on it.